All right, boys and girls, we're back with the next step of the writing process. What we are actually going to do today is we are going to receive our prompt that we are going to use for our two sources that we have been working on, the tree pods and the tree tents. Now, I know you all have heard writing prompt before, but what all that is is somebody, the teacher or whomever, is telling you what they want you to write about. So that this is the instructions that you must follow in order to write the story that you have to write. So here is today's prompt, or the prompt that we're going to be using. The sources, those are the two articles, the sources. The sources discuss tree pods and tree tents. Inform to your readers what you have learned about how these new tents have created excitement. Use at least one detail from source one, which was the tree pod, and one detail from source two, which was the tree tent, to support your explanation. For each detail, include the source title or number. The number would be source one or source two. The title would be tree pods or tree tents. So what we are doing is we're writing an essay to inform our readers, the people that's reading our essay, how the tree pods and the tree tents have created excitement. We're informing them how tree pods and tree tents have created excitement. And then it tells us that we must use at least one detail from each source. And we have to tell the reader which source it came from by e either saying from the tree pod article or the tree tent article, or we could say from source one or source two. So now we're ready to actually begin our writing. And the first step to writing, now that we've read our sources, is we have to create a four square. And so what I have done is I have made a four square for you all to look at, if it lets me get onto it. And here is our four square. I've put in our line at the top, I've put in our line at the bottom, I put in a line in the middle, and then I, deli uh, I cut up the, um, the squares into fours. That's all I've done. Now what I would like you to do is hit pause and at least create this for your four square. So go ahead and hit pause and do that. All right, welcome back. Now, I did change up one thing. Uh, as you notice up here at the top, normally we just, or the last time, we only put our hook at the top. But we have a detailed prompt this time specific instructions of what we must do. So I have given you the short version of the prompt. And I put, one, we have to inform how these new tents have created excitement. That's what we're writing about. How have these new tents created excitement? And I put, use at least one detail from each source. So we have to use one detail, at least one, from the tree pod and at least one from the tree tent. Now, we have a lot more information than just one little source or one little thing, right? We read the whole article. We have the who, what, when, where, why, and how. We already broke them both down. So we can do more than one. And I'm going to kind of show you how to use this four square. Now, I'm not going to do it for you, but I'm going to kind of show you how to use this four square to build your article. So one, obviously we're going to put in a hook. And the hook has to be involving tents or tree tents or something that involves tents. Because we have to get our reader hooked on this. So I don't know if it's a funny hook or what kind of hook it is, but you're gonna have to use a hook, maybe it's onomatopoeia. There's some sounds that involve tents. But you're gonna have to come up with a hook. And you might not know your hook yet, so we might just leave the hook blank for a minute and we'll work on the wet rest. Now we have our four squares, and then we have at the bottom our so what conclusion. 
We might not know the so what conclusion yet because we haven't built our squares. Now, I know some of you are looking at this and like, Mr. Drake, I have a question. Yes, what's your question? Uh, Mr. Drake, there's four boxes and you've only filled in three of them. Well, you are correct. Uh, personally, I'm, I've been thinking about this and I don't think I can come up with four boxes. Uh, especially with the prompt they're giving me, they're telling me I have to use source one and source two. Or source one, tree pod, source two, tree tents. So just kind of thinking, uh, what I'm probably going to do, and I apologize, I'm going to have to recalibrate this. I forgot to do this before I started. So all of you all that had so much fun jumping and recalibrating this smart board, here's the, uh, a flush of memories for you. So here's what I was thinking about this. I know I have to use source one and source two, right? So what I'm thinking is for my second box, yeah, I'm skipping the first one, I'm gonna come back to it. For my second box, I'm going to talk about the tree pod. And I'm gonna go back to that tree pod article and I'm gonna to try to find three things that are exciting or cool or neat or just interesting about the tree pod tent. And I'm gonna write those as A, B, and C. Now, if you have more than three things, add a D, an E, whatever, however many you have, okay? We have to do at least one detail, but there's more than one detail about the tree pod that you all can find, okay? So on my third box, which would be actually be my fourth paragraph, remember I have my hook as one, this, which I'll go over here in a second, will be two, my tree pods will be three, and then my fourth paragraph is going to be, yep, you guessed it, the tree tent. And so I'm going to go to my tree tent article and I'm going to pick up three, I'm um, pick out three things, at least three things, that I think is interesting or neat or cool or fun or why it's exciting now. Why are tree tents exciting? I'm going to write those things down. Now again, they only told us to do one, but we're overachievers. We can do more than one. One's pretty easy on this. We can do three. Some of you all might do more. That's okay. Now, I don't think I'm going to have a fourth one. Because after I said the exciting things about the tree pod and the exciting things about the tree tent, I'm going to be ready to go to my so what conclusion. But Mr. Drake, you skipped one. Yeah, here's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna come up with a funny hook about camping. It can be made believe. It can be uh, fantasy, make believe, uh, not true. But I'm gonna make it funny because I want them hooked. I want them to learn about more about tents and camping. So I'm gonna come up with a funny hook. But then, why? I'm, th I'm thinking back. Why were tree pods and tree tents made? Well, the same old, same old tents had been made for years, right? And now these are something new that people like, right? So I want to kind of bring up that history a little bit about tents and old school tents, not the teardrops hanging from a tree, not the tree tents, hammock styles that are attached to trees, boulders, rocks. So I think, now this isn't gonna be in my sources, but I think I can come up with another paragraph about old school tents or the traditional tents, or whatever word you want to call it about the tents that are not tree pods or tree tents. So I'm just going to call it, just for general sake, I'm going to call this old school tents. Do you have to do that? No, you don't. This is your paper. You decide what you want to do. But I think in my paper how it's going to flow is I'm going to come up with a funny hook then I'm gonna go into how tents have been over the years, okay? Uh, you all have seen those four person tents or family tents or some of you all have tried to set up an old school tent. You know what I mean. So I'm gonna put just some descriptions of some old school tents. Then I'm gonna go into why has the tree pod created excitement? I'm gonna list those things. Then I'm going to say well, there's also tree tents, and I'm going to list those things. 
And then once I've done that, I've hit my old school my, and my two new school tents. Then I'm gonna do a so what conclusion. So what? So what about the tree pods and the tree tents? So what? Well, they're pretty cool, right? So I'm gonna put somehow why I think I would be interested in a tree pod or a tree tent. Or maybe you don't like them. So what? So what about all the buzz about the tree pods and tree tents? It doesn't mean it's for me. It's up to you. How are you gonna make your paper? So here's the tough part, okay? Uh, your assignment is to create your four square, just your four square. Uh, you can tell me what type of hook it is. You don't have to write out your entire hook today. But you can kind of decide, is it gonna be a funny hook, onomatopoeia hook? Are you gonna use a statement, a question? Are you gonna describe the setting? That might not be bad with camping tens, right? And then you're going to do your boxes. You're going to at least have to have two boxes because you have to do the tree pods and the tree tents. But you might come up with a third box. Some of you might even come up with a, four bo a fourth box. You might be thinking something I'm not thinking about. That's great. Do it. And then you're going to put your so what conclusion. You might not know what your so what conclusion is yet, but you can write down so what conclusion so that you know it has to go in there. All right? That is your assignment. If you are stuck, if you don't understand, if you are confused, you need to get on the Google Meet today. I, gotta, I have to be able to walk you through it. I am not doing it for you. You're going to have to pick out the details from the articles. Uh, Mr. Drake, what articles? These are the ones we worked on Thursday and Friday. Remember our tree pod article, who, what, where, when, how, all of those. If you don't remember, go back. Go back to Thursday's buzz and look at breaking down source one. Source two was the tree tent. We broke it down too. Go back into your buzz and find breaking down source two. Told you not to lose those notes. We were going to use them. All right, good luck again. If you have any questions, concerns, uh, get, get on the Google Meet. At the end, when you have your four square, you must send me a picture of it. You have to. Okay? All right.